Hello, my name is Ruben Aguilar. I am one of the VRC pioneers. You see, in 2009, I was transitioning out of the military, and we were told by our educational counselors at, in the military that no matter what school you decide to go to, there will be a VA representative, a VA certifying official who will intake you, do all your paperwork, and get you enrolled into college and start collecting that post-9-11 GI Bill. See, when I showed up to Norco College in 2009, that really wasn't the case. I had asked the admission and records clerk at the time if there was a VA certifying official I could speak with, and no one had any idea what I was talking about. But I knew that we had to have a student education plan in order to receive our benefits. So I decided to set up a meeting with the counselor. I ended up meeting with Dr. Zena Chacon, who is still a good friend of mine today. And I had asked her, as we were going over my student education plan, is there a certifying official here? Who is the person that I need to talk to so that I can start collecting my benefits and getting some income from my post 9-11 GI Bill, along with getting the military to pay for my college and the expenses that I was gonna start acquiring? She really didn't have the answer at the time. I remember her sending a message to our now president, Dr. Monica Green, asking her the questions that I was asking. You see, Right after that, Dr. Green had a conference call with myself, along with two other veterans, Robert Aguilar and Gabriel Maramontes, along with Dr. Zena Chacon, and was asking us what it is that we needed. After we got done with that conference call, Dr. Green made things happen really, really fast for us. We got a certifying official at the time. His name was Edward Alvarez. Thank you so much, Edward Alvarez, for stepping up and taking the courses through the VA to become Norco College's first VA certifying official and helping us get on our feet as we were transitioning out of the military. Not only did Ed do that, but he also dug a little bit deeper and found for us what they call a VA work study so that us veteran students can get paid through the VA to, can, to work for the college and collect another paycheck for VA work study. So thank you so much for that. There's another person uh, Mark Diasis, who was also a pioneer to help us get this started, along with getting uh, our little office that we had at the time right across from admissions to getting into the portable. And then we transitioned to upstairs where the career center is. And then we um, went to the new office that it is down uh, at the bottom of admissions and records. And see, at the time, I was just a student. So I was asking these questions and I ended up getting a job from that through the VA work study and started working for the college, started helping veterans transition out of the military into um, civilian life or into college life. See, that was one thing that we really, really don't have. One of the missing components when we get out of the military is that camaraderie and that place to talk with other veterans who can relate to some of the things that we've all been through. This was 2009 for me. I was just getting back from active duty. I was just getting back from Iraq. So having a one-stop shop, a veteran center where veterans can talk and help each other is super important and super vital um, for our veteran students at the college. So I want to thank everybody who's part of this. We are now getting this new beautiful building that's being built up by the STEM Center. I cannot wait for that to open. And I'm so glad that I decided to say something and to see what what it what the VRC was in 2009 to what it is today. So thank you all so much from Norco College for being our voice, for being our veterans' voice, for advocating for us, and for making um, this all become a reality. A one-stop shop at Norco College to serve all veterans, and hopefully we can continue to see the growth of the VRC.